guys. Um, this video is something that, I don't know, this is definitely gonna be a little more personal. Um, and it's a video that I considered not making, but I just wanted to give you guys my perspective and my thoughts. And what I'm talking about is self-doubt in my work. Um, over the past probably, you know, two weeks, 14 days, I've noticed a large amount of self-doubt creeping into the work I'm doing, uh, the work I've done, uh, everything. Now, I've been doing this long enough that I've experienced these periods several times before. And, you know, it's not when you're, when you're experiencing this for, you know, the fourth or fifth time, uh, it's not nearly as scary as it is the first time. But I think back to that first time and how absolutely terrifying that self-doubt was. I guess to put it in a way, I've been dealing with some themes in my work over the past couple of years. Uh, and I spoke a little bit about this in the year in review video, but I've been doing a lot of exploration about like nostalgia and kind of leaving behind the innocence of childhood, um, leaving behind that innocence of new photography. And I've been really trying to, you know, capture what that feels like for me. And uh, you see that, uh, you know, the small camera works video that I just made uh, talks a little bit about that. Um, you know, the, just the work that I've been making talks a little bit about that. In the last, you know, two weeks, three weeks, I kind of came to a, a, an end with that project that I've been working on. Um, I just felt the need to move on with my work, move to a new phase. Obviously, it's always going to be building. Um, you know, the archive's always building, but I really just, I stopped being inspired. I felt that I wasn't doing enough with uh, the work. And my solution to that was, you know, put it down and move on. Put a, put a clear page mark, page turn into the chapter and move on to the next stage of whatever my photography uh, will, will look like. And when I did that, I basically stepped off of this secure place that I'd been standing, this, this secure, um, you know, shelter that I'd built for myself. I stepped out of that and kind of into the world again. And that is absolutely a terrifying thing to do. Uh, stepping out of something that you are comfortable with and you're familiar with and into a new kind of unknown environment. Now, you could say that there was no need for me to do that, that maybe that was a bit of a dramatic decision. But in my experience, that's been the way that I've been able to progress my work in the past is by stepping out of the comfortable and into the uncomfortable, stepping out of the known and into the unknown. And so I kind of force myself to do it. That becomes very difficult because you don't have a clear voice. It feels like you've lost your voice almost because you've stepped out of the known. And I find it hard to, um, you know, rest on my laurels, rest on what I've done. I, I'm always pushing for something new. You know, the old doesn't excite me. It is what it is, but I'm interested in, in what's next. I'm interested in what's coming. Um, and that's just, you know, everybody's a little different, but that's just how my, my mind works. So stepping out of that, you know, old and secure has, it's just put me into a total head spin. And that's kind of been the story um, for the past, you know, couple of weeks. And it's, it's been terrible. Um, it, it's gotten me pretty depressed. Um, it, and it's just, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm sinking. And I don't want to sound dramatic here. I'm, obviously, this is, you know, not a massive, you know, problem. Like, there's there's people in much worse um, situations. Like, I'm, everything's good. I'm fine. And I, like I said, I've been through this before. I know I'll come out of it. But I wanted to share this with you guys because I think thinking back to that, you know, earlier version of me who's not sure that this will end, I want to talk to those people and, you know, uh, also just 
the idea of being open with my process. Um, I, that's really what I want to strive for with this channel. But uh, I want to talk about some of the coping methods that I've used to come out of this in the past and that I'm applying right now. And the number one thing I think is you just have to keep working. So the last thing I feel like doing right now when my inspiration is just on the floor dead is keep working, but you've got to force yourself to keep working, whether that means just going for walks, whether that means looking at photography um, or films or you know art that you maybe haven't put time into before. Maybe now you put the time into that and try to take inspiration from that. Uh, fall on your on your pre-established inspirations and look look at them. Uh, just be open to new ideas. Be completely open. And whenever the ideas hit, just explore them a little bit. And that's the way to kind of move into that next chapter of your work in my, in my mind. And the only way to do that is if you keep working. So I've been trying some things that I've never really tried before with photography. I'm doing more uh, landscape oriented things. I'm doing more light, um, non like human <laughs> influenced things. And I'm just trying to see where that takes me. Um, obviously I want to do more work with people. It's just difficult right now. So I'm working with whatever I have. You just work with what you have in your surroundings and, um, try to, you know, make sure you're examining what you create and try to take things away from that because a lot of times your subconscious knows where you need to go. I don't know if you're a you know, spiritual person or not, but there's some kind of a, a force that's guiding and you just have to trust that, that it'll find the right direction. Um, and you, you, you have to trust that you'll get, get into, into contact with that force. So I'm trying a lot of landscape stuff. I'm going to try some black and white printing. I've never really worked in black and white before. So I want to start working in black and white a little bit more, um, particularly with the M4. I want to, you know, start printing. Um, I've never done photochemical printing before. So I want to, I want to start working that into the process a little bit and, you know, getting into this tangible uh, experience of, you know, creating the work, making the work, taking the computer out of the process, taking the, the social aspect out of the process. Um, sometimes you need to let the work do its thing. It needs time. You need time to digest it. Uh, and that's something interesting. And I'll share the project that I've just been kicking around. I'm this, I don't know if this will turn into anything or not, but this is something I've been experimenting with. And I'll share some of the photos. <laughs> say is I've you know I taken the photos I come back home I print them out I lay them out on the table and then I put them up and I take them back out and I'll put them up and I have no idea if I like this direction or not and I have no idea if this is work that you know moves me in any kind of way or if this is something that's worthy of you know turning into a, a larger scale project Right now, I'm just kind of throwing things at the wall to see what sticks. I think that's my motto in life is just throw it at the wall and see what sticks. Um, but I'm trying this. You know, it's new. It's something I haven't tried. Same with the black and white. And I'll share some black and white images that I've, I've taken recently as well.
Um, this is all very, this is a new world for me, you know? Um, but if I'm persistent, then hopefully a new evolution of, you know, my work will come from that. Something that I uh, can fully invest into, but it's interesting, you know, you wrap up a project and you step out of this, um, shelter that you've built for yourself and into the, into the world. It's a scary thing. And uh, the self-doubt that came with that is, it's, it's consuming me right now. It's pretty, it's pretty rough. Um, you know, woe is me. But I, uh, I just, yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. So that I'm, I'm in a place right now where you know it is, it is difficult. And uh, I, I find so much inspiration in you know YouTube, um, things on YouTube, documentaries, um, films, you know, I've, books. Um, and I know if I keep being persistent that eventually I'll come out of this and there'll be a new creative spark and something to, to chase. Um, but for anybody who's in this for maybe the first time or hasn't been through this before, just be persistent, keep at it because it will come to an end. Um, you know, I'm just having a tough time with, uh, with photography right now and I know I'll come out of it. But uh, I also just want to be straightforward and, uh, you know, help anybody that is going through something similar. So absolutely love you guys. Um, thank you so much for just everything. Um, I know this is crazy. Uh, two videos in one week and uh, more to come for sure. Um, but thank you for everything. And, uh, you know, if, if you guys are going through something similar. I can't, I don't have the answers, you know, but, uh, I'm welcome. Uh, I welcome you to reach out and, um, share your experience because sometimes it's just good to talk to somebody and get it off your chest. So until next time, which will be soon, uh, everybody have a great day and uh, I'll see you.